This morning, we're continuing to follow breaking news out of Colorado. In a press conference in the last hour, local officials say at least five people are dead and 18 injured after a gunman opened fire at an LGBTQ nightclub in the city of Colorado Springs. The shooting took place just before midnight at a venue named Club Q. Just two minutes into the shooting spree, two brave patrons, quote, blocked the shooter, allowing for him to be apprehended. Police say he is now being treated at a local hospital. The FBI is on the scene working in conjunction with local authorities as they are still investigating a motive. Joining me now is NBC News correspondent Emily Ikeda, who's been closely following this story. Hey there, Jonathan. We're learning new details about the timeline and the suspects behind this deadly, awful shooting. Officers, within two minutes of officers arriving at Club Q, were told that they were able to take the suspect into custody. Such a swift response, in large part because of efforts, according to police, from some of the customers inside the club. We're told that a 22-year-old man, the suspect, entered Club Q and immediately started shooting as he made his way through the club. At least two patrons confronted and fought with the suspect, preventing him from causing even more harm in Colorado Springs. Club Q overnight releasing a statement on Facebook saying, in part, it's devastated by the senseless attack on our community, continuing to call it a, quote, hate attack. Now, police have not confirmed a motive in this incident, but they did say they're looking into whether this was a hate crime. This, The timing of this all really strikes a nerve when you consider today's date, November 20th, the uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance. Club, Club Q actually was scheduled to hold a special event regarding Transgender Day of Remembrance today, and they posted about it on Facebook just hours before this shooting played out. Colorado's Governor Polis speaking out in a statement. Keep in mind, he is the U.S.'s first openly gay governor. He said, in part, this is horrific, sickening, and devastating. Going on to say, Colorado stands with our LGBTQ community and everyone impacted by this tragedy as we mourn together. Jonathan, I'll tell you, there's no ongoing threat, according to authorities, to their best level of awareness. Five people killed, another 18 people injured. But keep in mind, police acknowledge that number could continue to rise, especially when you consider some of the victims drove themselves uh, to the hospital. So still very much a developing situation. We'll continue to bring you the latest. NBC's Emily Ikeda, thank you very much.